Hello, Zios Pantera, the host of Inner Fetish, and welcome to the review of the Dunu Mirai. Mirai? Mirai. Mirai? No. It'll be you. It's Mirai. I love this. This just drives me insane, and I'm happy about it. Anyway, this <clears throat> is the first IM I... No, wait, it's not the first IM. I did those three other ones. The Symphoniums were from Headphones.com. This is a Headphones.com exclusive IM, which is a whole other can of worms. It's like, oh, you can't get it anywhere else. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, or you can't return it, or you can't try it out some other place. So the Mirai, I didn't know the story of it. I love Dunu. If you haven't recognized my love of the glacier, I got the Zen Pros right there. So uh, the the how many times have I put the SS tips in my ears? In fact, these come with SS tips, so I'm just like, yes. But I'm listening to it, and I'm like, huh. I try to listen before I know anything. That's a rule around here on Z Reviews. Uh, knowledge may be power, but knowledge is also annoying. So I try to just listen. I get I am, I play I am. The end. And obviously, before the video, I looked up the price, and then I was able to read the page, and then I was understand it's a collaboration between, obviously, Duno and Headphones.com, but also someone else who's doing, doing the tuning. And it all starts falling together. And then I read some comments, which I don't like doing that, especially. But they're just sort of like there on Headphones.com. And two people gave it like a three star. And this is a thousand dollar IM. The Mirai is no cheapy. The, the Mirai is a, is a, a top of the line Dunu. I mean, fuck, the Glacier's only 1300 This is just a step below that. And this is a seven driver, I think. They're, they're kind of weird. I'm not used to Headphones.com way of laying out specs. But it's one dynamic. And then six BAs, but also another, no, no, five BAs. But then it says Super Tweeter, which I think might also be a BA. But they don't specify if it's not an EST or something. So I'm just going with, with it's a seven driver. And I've been sitting here, and I, I if you've seen this channel before, if you've seen any of my channels before, I try to pick a wallpaper that makes sense for the thing I'm reviewing. And this is, uh, what's her name from... Rascal is a senpai bunny girl thing. Um, lab coat. Very science about this. And I read about the tuning, and then it makes all sorts of sense. So I'm sitting here, and I'm enjoying music. But I find myself staring at it going, huh, maybe this amp with this music. No, you know what? No, 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 that amp, but this music. And then it, it sort of clicked. Because they're talking about it has tuning like you'd never heard before, blah, 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 blah. Old school, new school. These skirt the analytical line. Like if there's the fun side and there's the crazy analytical boring side, these are like just three notches down towards analytical, but not so far away from fun that I can't enjoy them. And I think that's going to throw a lot of people off. Because I'm sitting here and I'm listening to things that are like, fuck, this is a this is a thousand dollar dunu. With all this crap inside of it, and it sounds so fucking clear and concise. And then the bass hits, and it's like, hmm. You scratch your beard sort of analysis on it. Because it isn't shaking your head. It's not Rinko where you're like bash it into things. This is probably, you know what this kind of feels like? And I'll, let me give the real tuner his, his shout out. This is a collaboration between... Uh, Precog Vision. Again, I don't know anybody who anybody is, is, so I don't know who that is, but congratulations, Precog Vision. Um, and Dunu and Headphones.com. And apparently it's been tuned to have certain spikes in certain areas. And as much as it shows this graph at the bottom, which, as you know, I am not a... Actually, it's got a graph that you can... Ooh, you could hover over things. Like, it's showing the frequency response at 11 hertz... 0 to 22 hertz is like plus 11 dB. And I'm not feeling a plus 11 dB. These feel like the most well-behaved adult IMs I've listened to in a while. Whereas the glaciers are a complete departure from this. They're just far away and chill. And you don't got to worry about anything. These are like, hey, you're going to have to worry a little bit about your music. Because if it sucks, I'm going to let you know. That's, that's, I think, the reason why these get some mixed reviews on the site. 
because they're not lying to you. I prefer an, an I am and a headphone that lie to me. Please, just, just my music t- taste is eclectic, and I try to get the highest quality stuff. But sometimes, even if I love a song, even if Go With The Flow from, um, Cause you know, with the flow, that song sounds like shit, no matter how many thousands of dollars you spend on it. Because it's recorded poorly. And only a certain headphone or an IM, or maybe you put a Class A preamp. If you hammer the signal enough before it gets to your eardrums, you can be like, look, it's good. It's fine. These do not do that. These let you know exactly what you're listening to. I know a couple people who are very into, like, studio monitor IMs. Um, I'm thinking of the soft ears. What were those? The fours? The studio fours? And they were like, I love Soft Ears Twilight. One of my favorite IMs, the most natural, single, dynamic, $900. Uh, get the Studio 4s, and all of a sudden it's like, your music sucks, and you suck for listening to it. That's what a studio headphone does, or studio IM. We're not there with the Mirais. But it's like, it's just letting you know. It's just letting you know. Mm-hmm. The soundstage isn't crazy wide. It's more of an intimate sound. I actually just had another one I did. I'm going to pop my ears long. I need to show your jaw. Make sure your ears are clear. Megatron from Dark Side. Good low end. Womps. Not plus 11 dB. I hear every little crackle. I'm actually picking up noise in the person from just being on. There was a slight channel imbalance and something over there. Like, I can hear all the differences in amplification. This thing has a noisy, like, left channel. The Mirais are just bringing it out. Let me take them out of my ears so you can see them, since we can actually do that on this camera. Um, One of the comments was, because, again, I read the comments, and I don't usually, but I did. It says, I don't know, they didn't feel like an $1,100 IM, because these were originally 11 now they're 950 he says, I don't look it. And I, I kind of get that. Like, they're a green, which you either like or don't like. And then it's it's that color green on the shell. They're quite thick, but the nozzles work just fine. There's a Duno SS tips. The back is the most... It, it's trying to be like a fancy green emerald. It's kind of failing at that. Like, you could just make it out when I do the light thing perfect. But it certainly doesn't look like, holy crap, that's a $1,000 IM. The wire was another person complained about it. I will not. These are great. I love Dunu cables. You've got like a raw aluminum here, which just weighs so little I can't even tell it's on the wire. And then the wire is a cream, not a white. Here's the one from the Glacier. Hold on. I keep the Glacier wire near me at all times so I can mock it. For First of all, can I point out, this is a Dunu $1,000 IM with two pin. Fucking Dunu. You could have done that for the Glacier, you sons of bitches. I love Dunu, but they needed to not. So here's the wire from the Glacier, which was a big, heavy, white, single fabric with massive, like, heavy stainless steel. So in contrast, we have a cream color. I'm going to say it's like cottage cheese. Um, Two wire up here for each, and then it goes down to a four-wire weave. And it's kind of a loose, lightweight four-wire weave. I, I... I'm digging this. I'm digging this combo of green and cream, which green and cream's got to be a bad name, right? You get the, I want to say standard. Is it the same on this? No, they even, look at that. They even colored the connector on that to not be white and to be cream. It's the same connector they have on all their high-end wires where it can pop off. And you get 3.5 or 2.5 for some reason. You get your little quarter-inch adapter, your ear cleaner, your airplane adapter, which no one fucking needs. Unless United is the only one using it, then we really won't need it. Plug that back in. It has a little do new thing which you can take off if you want. I like this cable. I'm fine with this cable. Especially if it's for exactly what I think it is. Let's plug it into where do we want to go? We're gonna go into the FX audio. Because the FX audio does weird stuff to sound that I'm enjoying it. Or or because I haven't listened to it enough. TA sixty six tube. Just just because. Because here's the thing. Whenever I have a headphone um, that is very, very clean and straightforward and listen to this, you know, Neumann NDH20, 
or Sennheiser HD 280 or something that's very, it's got its pants on straight. Bear Dynamic 1990s. You put those onto a tube and it gets them a little drunk and then they start to have fun. And let me see if that's what's going to happen with these. Hold on. Because I only did a test to see if I would blow them up and it didn't blow them up. So always a good test to do before you start filming. I I can tell it's a tube amp. How's that? What am I listening to? The RZA presents Afro Samurai. Ah, cool. Fury in my eyes. It's like a classic Japanese, but singing in English with like a weird accent. That's so wild. By the way, just to point this out, if you're running FUBAR, every once in a while, don't put it on shuffle tracks. Put it on random, which is a different separate option. Because you can't hit back anymore. It doesn't go back. It's so random, it doesn't even know where it's been. And it'll play tracks that you you like, doesn't shuffle play all my tracks? No, 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 no. Random. That plays all your tracks. You just can't go back. This might be the cleanest a tube has ever sounded. <laughs> that's, that's, that's some weird half praise. Because I would love to say, oh my god, it's so wild now. It's let its hair down and it's, it's doing coke in the bathroom. But it's not. It's still a very put-together sound. It's just got this overarching, like... Crank that a little bit. Muse, belong to you. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm plugging that, taking the quarter inch adapter with it because it's faster. It's a, Yeah, there's just the slightest change in a tube. But it's definitely like a calming down of the sound effect. So, what I think the Mirai does is it really is a, a, a taste that I haven't found a lot of it in the expensive. It kind of feels like Critical tune this. Is that a good or a bad thing? Because Critical tends to be like very focused on like the reds are like, they're so accurate. They're 50 bucks and they're so accurate. We've done all this work to make them so accurate. And the first thing I did was destroy them by changing the tips. You know what? Let's destroy these by changing the tips. Hold on. I'm going I'm to be a little selfish. I'm going to put my render tips on there, which are my collab, which are silicone wrapped foam. And these tend to boost the bass and really have like the best seal in the world. So this is my first test with these. I should have done this beforehand, but I was going to like, I didn't want to break the respect. But then I realized I'm Zeos Pantera and I put anime titties on everything. So what the fuck? Um, real quick though, tips. So you get a full selection of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, Dunu SS tips. I took the smallest ones and put them in there for my guests who have really tiny ears. Because I don't think I have a set of the super small ones. You get these. These are the candy tips, I think, because we're trying to push on them. These are like the ball tips. So those there. Put those back in here. You get the little footy bag, which we've already determined. Uh, there's a nicer one out there than this one. You get a cream-colored, again, not white, cream-colored Dunu bag with the word Mirai inside, in case you forget where this is from. Like, which Dunu is this? Oh, the um, hold on, I'll put my cable down. You're getting in the way, beautiful, amazing $300 collab cable, which is basically my merchandise. And if you want to support the channel, please feel free to buy this cable, which I've adapted the other one to work on headphones. It comes with a little book that says, ooh, Mirai, with all the, the things, what makes it different. I don't read. You think I know how to read? The world to come. <laughs> uh, the Duno is one of the oldest portable audio brands in the market. Stretching back to 1994. God, I feel old if that's true. Um, yeah, these are the people who helped tune it. Resolves in there. Resolves in there. Um, design and tuning. Yeah, look. Actually, I can read this much better. Yeah, so it's got a Knowles open back super tweeter, dual tweeters, a mid high driver. And then a mid mid range dual driver, and then the ten millimeter composite biocellulose independent. So there's your little book. Who 
Wait. Wait. Try these with the render tips. If you own Mirai and you're like on the fence about how they sound and you have... Tr pick up a set of my render tips. They're $13 or something. Because <laughs> they're more insistent now, Lois. It insists upon itself. It's... It's a, actually still a subtle change. Like, it isn't like, oh, it's a completely different headphone, or I am. But even on the SHX, which is a, a fucking $900 I am, fucking engine. That's weird. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta play some more. Hold on. There's the fun. All right, I've, the tips, the, the tips will do some, some justice. Ooh. It's weird because the critical reds, if I put my render tips on them, ruined the sound he designed into it and made them just fun. But it also ruined the tips because the nozzle was so big you couldn't get them off once you put them on. Um, if you can get them on. But these, it's just like... It like turns the mid-range up a few decibels. I'm going to do that thing, like the car drive meme. Um... A little bit more impactful on the low end, which is still there, but not 11 dB ever. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. God, the echo is so good, too. Fuck. All right. You know what it is? When a song. I hear some weird shit. When the song changes, like the song, it goes silent and then something else comes on. And it and this particular I am, I feel that more. Like I feel like the song stopping is kind of like if you are running around in the dark and you hit a wall and you're sort of shaken, like uh. And then you can move around after that. Like, that's what it's like when you change tracks in these. I've had that happen in a couple of speakers where it actually hurts to change tracks. And some some specific headphones that I'm like desperately in love with. I might love these. I might give these a 10. Dr. Ford from the Westworld. Uh, you know what? Render tips. Fucking render tips, man. I'm getting emotional. I wasn't getting emotional before. Using the Duno SSs, using the, the standard silicones or... I, it wasn't getting to me. Now it's getting to me. I've, I've done something. If I would have done the swap before the review started, which you're all probably asking, Zeals, why don't you test everything before everything? Because I've tested it for hours and hours and hours the way it was presented. And I'm like, I'm not going to put my $12 fucking collab tips on there. And it doesn't have to be these. You could try Dakonis uh, or uh, symbi Symbio tips. But try different tips on these, because there is some emotional headway to be made. These are good. Whoa. Okay, the hook OST just started playing. Back the fuck up. The Ultimate War from Hook. I'm talking about the Robin Williams hook from like the 90s. I'm picking this up and I'm dragging it into my new test playlist, which is the playlist I use for sound demos. And then I'm going to close through bar because that's the only way to get it to actually save is to close it completely. Yeah, they need to fix that shit. So every like minute it saves all the playlist status. Trust me, I've had it crash like... The four times Fubar has ever crashed, it loses my playlist, and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking stab somebody. So I just put this in the sound demos because there's like a like a tin can being hit, and then a boom, and it's like that's where the nine hundred dollars is going. It's just all the layers of all the things. And without, you know what? All right, let's go for full, full fun, dumb, full dumb fun. Let's see what this does now. 
go back to the beginning of the song. Oh, the bass kicks up. Just enough. Okay, Duna Marais are a fucking... Uh, I want to give them a 10. I can't give them a 10. they got to be a 9. What, what's missing, though? I like the sound. I guess the sound wouldn't be for everybody. I'm trying to get you to hear the music. I don't know how it works in the uh, pocket. I wish they just had better look. Even if it just said Duno on the back. They're just so blank. And I can get that could be like a thing, like I debadged my IEMs, but if I'm spending a thousand dollars on an IEM, like I'm either showing it off or I don't want it to be stolen. This is the please don't steal my IEMs because they're so weirdly green. They're they're not the prettiest things on the face of the earth. I love this color green. This is just more like green. But they're not creamy jade. Eyes like creamy jade. So yeah, Mariah's got a fucking full pass. They need the, they need those tips. I'm gonna play around with maybe some more tip options. Um, I don't know the wires holding it back. That's that's actually a thing in some expensive IMs. I know, fucking, I hate it. Um, but yeah, no Marais, man. If you weren't considering them, consider them. Someone's looking for these. Someone out there is looking exactly for what this is, because even with these tips on there, I'm still hearing everything. Like, I still put on a song, and it was shit. If you still want a, an IM that is like, hey, you know what? Your music, great. I'm glad you loved this back when you were in college, but it's garbage. Try something that's well-recorded, you asshole. That's what, good, uh, that's what this brand of IM will do to you. This type of IM, this sort of tuning. It doesn't help your music. Only you can help your music. This Once your music list is sorted, and obviously you've got the Hook OST from the 90s, that's when you pull out the Marais. Not when you're just starting out, which is proper for the amount of these things cost. Anyway, I'm done. Scientist girl from, what's it called? Rascal is a part-timer. No, that's not it. Anyway, her wallpaper in the wallpaper hoard. This desk mat with the cat and the Japanese lettering, which I don't even think is still available anymore. And I'm sorry that my, because the mouse pants get gone. And then I just still have them. And I'm like, I like this one. I don't want to sell it. And maybe I'll put this in my office. But anyway, find different cool mouse pads in the link in the description. And uh, thank you to headphones.com for sending this out. They're like, have you heard the Mirai? And I'm like, no, the, the Mirai. And I'm like, no. So like, cool, we'll send it out. So thanks to them for sending out the Mirais. They are special. I'm going to give them that. You could absolutely own the glaciers and the Mirais and not be like, well, I don't need one because the other. They are completely different. Especially because this one's fucking two pin. Mm -hmm. Patreon subscribe so support this channel. Get to see I am reviews early and free. You don't have to support me even on Patreon and subscribe so to see I am reviews are free. Um, any of the ones that I come out because I have so many I have to do. Um, regular reviews. You want to participate in yard sales? All that other stuff is five dollars a month, ten dollars a month. Talk to me directly. Do things. Talk about it. I'll see you all in Chicago at Expona, and then of course we've got to go to Munich. Again, if you want to sponsor those, let me fucking.